Hello and welcome again to our channel and uh, today we're gonna be discussing about the basic Linux commands. So this series is dedicated for those uh, people who are zero knowledge in ethical hacking. So I will tackle in, the, in this series uh, all of the things that you need to know before jumping in into ethical hacking. So first of all is the Linux basic commands. So why we need to uh, learn this uh, number one 90% of uh, hacking tools is uh, made in made for Linux okay so it is a uh, advantage for us if uh, we will use uh, Linux for this uh, for hacking so number two Linux is for free. So unlike the Windows, unlike the Mac OS, they're not free. But uh, in here, uh, Linux is for free. And another one is it is open source. Uh, what do we mean by open source? Open source is every code, uh, for example, in Cal uh, there's a lot of uh, Linux OS. So there's a uh, Kali Linux, uh, Ubuntu, there's Debian, and uh, all of the codes uh, for Ubuntu is uh, being publicly uh, available. So it's uh, publicly available and uh, if I want to create my own OS such as for example Alexis OS, so I can base it from Ubuntu. So I will check the code of Ubuntu, I will get it and reverse engineer it. Uh, into my own needs of uh, the Alexis OS. So if my Alexis OS, uh, I want it to become a much more uh, multimedia uh, focus OS, then I will uh, install, pre-install every uh, multimedia uh, applications in there. So it's it's, a, it's more of uh, enhancing your weapon. So if it is open source, then you have more control in your weapon. So that's uh, the advantage of open source. So another one is the ratio of the virus. So for example, in every 40 virus in Linux, there's uh, 60,000 in Windows. So technically, if you are a security guy, then probably uh, you want the latter part. Mm -hmm. So that's the advantage mm -hmm. of using Linux. So now, let's uh, dive into the Linux commands. So in here, uh, I, will, uh, I will assume that you already have uh, Linux. So whatever it is, whether it is Ubuntu or Debian, uh, now I am using Kali Linux. So it is better that you use Kali Linux in this tutorial because I'm using Kali Linux. So, okay. So I will teach you Linux commands uh, in the perspective of a, of a hacker, okay? So a hacker uh, mostly 70% uh, of the servers uh, within the world is uh, mostly Linux, okay? So uh, there's a 70% chance that uh, what you will be hacking is Linux. Okay, so uh, for example, you already got in inside the server. So the reason why I am teaching you Linux commands is when you got in or when you hack a server, what you will have is just a terminal access or a shell, which is like this. So it's only terminal. So if you don't know how to uh, use Linux commands, then probably you cannot uh, take advantage of your position uh, when you uh, already hack in into the computer. So you cannot uh, perform post -escal or uh, privilege escalation techniques or attack inside. So now let's learn the basics. So for example, you got in to the to the target's terminal, then probably you want to know where you are. So you need a Google Maps. So the Google Maps here in Linux is 
the PWD. So it will tell you where you are in the Linux. So as you can see, you are in the slash root. So take note of this. Uh, Linux uh, OS is composed of file and directories. So directories is just the folder in Windows world. Okay, so uh, files and directories. So the highest directory, okay, in the Linux hierarchy is this this slash so in the windows it is the c okay so in here it's the slash then after that so let's go to the slash so in here you already have the google map so you need a car or a vehicle in order for you to change uh, places so we have the change directory or the cd okay so in here in CD you can type in CD then the path that you want to go so for example in here I go to the highest directory then PWD then I am now in the highest directory so what if what if I want to uh, see what is my environment Okay, so I want to have side mirror in order for me to look and uh, uh, to look what is in my side. And uh, so it's like the uh, LS. Okay, so LS. So in LS, you will see if you just type LS, you will see all of the files and directories within your working directory or within your place. Okay, so in here. As you can see, uh, this is the files and directories inside the highest directory. So, if you are a hacker, most of the time you will uh, go here in the ATC, inside the ATC, because uh, most of the configurations, the passwords, all of it is inside the ATC. Okay? And uh, another one that you need to uh, take note is the home and the root so we have this so called home directory so what is the home directory home directory is uh, when you click the file oh, for example here when you click this uh, you will see desktop documents downloads pictures those primary folders so that is a home directory okay so in windows it also has a home directory where you click the folder then or the file manager then you will see pictures documents downloads folders and such so that's the home directory so in here what is this this is also uh this is the same this is home directory and this is also the home directory so what's the difference between this so in root dire uh, in root this is the home directory of the root user so when we go to ls uh, when we check the content of the root as you can see there is documents downloads etc so just uh, music pictures public the primary okay so clear ls again so that's the home directory of the root user so what if you are not a user or what you are not a root user so technically uh, that user is in the home folder okay so inside the home folder is the username so as you can see here this is the user which is not root user okay so inside that so if we go home let's put in the whole path alexis that will be the time that you will see the documents downloads and pictures 
but in here I deleted the pictures downloads so you won't see it so that's the home directory of the Alexis user okay so let's clear it so that's the difference of home directory home and root uh, directory under the highest high uh, directory so as you can see here now uh, I use CD dot dot slash dot dot slash so what is this so that that means I go up okay so I go up another hierarchy so slash I go up another hierarchy so as you can see here uh, in order for me to go in the highest directory I need to go up oh, okay I, I need to go up here and I need to go up here again so that I can be here so that's another shortcut for CD so another shortcut for CD is just type CD and enter then automatically you will uh, go to the home directory so that's another shortcut so another shortcut is you don't need to type the whole path okay the whole path uh, if the directory that you want to go is inside your cur current directory so for example in here I have in packet so I can just see the in packet just the name of the directory no need to type uh, slash root slash in packet okay so if it is inside your working directory then yeah that's it so let's go to the home directory let's create a uh, let's create a folder or directory so in order to do that mk there or make directory then let's type in here hacker before hacking uh, before hacking so when we ls you can see here before hacking so it's now a directory so now let's go inside the before hacking as you can see there's none here but uh, if you ls a to see all of the hidden directories and files uh, you can see that the default is dot and dot dot so when you go cd dot it's just the current directory then cd dot dot we all know that we will go higher uh, directory so in here let's create a file so we can touch alexis.txt okay so it's better that you uh, go uh, and practice this with me uh, you must follow this so that uh, we can have uh, a hands-on lesson okay so if you ls uh, ls alexis the txt so it's in there then we all know we now know uh, how to create a file then how to edit a file so in here I can teach you the Vim and the Nano so let's first uh, use Vim Vim Alexis.txt okay so it's just a notepad so in here the Vim then the file that you want to uh, edit so okay so in here it's uh, very delicate because uh, there's a lot of uh, shortcut here so when once uh, you see this uh, working environment type I okay so you will see this once you type I so what is the meaning of that it means that uh, you are now available to edit okay so you can now edit the file so for example in here I will put in this so don't worry about this uh, commands okay so after doing this 
if you are done editing the file then probably you want to save it so type escape uh, no uh, click the escape button okay escape button so as you can see the insert is gone then type colon okay then w for save then q for quit then enter okay so we're done so in order for us to see or to read what is inside the alexis.txt we can use cat at alexis.txt and as you can see it was edited okay so as of now uh, that is the basic and in our next tutorial i will teach you the advanced uh, commands okay so again that's it for today and i hope uh, to see you in the next video